over 3 million Americans have celiac disease and doctors say going gluten free is a good choice for them. However, healthy Americans looking to shed a few pounds should not necessarily follow a gluten free diet. Gluten free foods are selling like hotcakes, especially for those looking to drop a few pounds. But holistic health coach Mary McAlary says gluten free dieting is not smart for everyone. I think that if you do not have celiac um, and you do not have a gluten sensitivity, that why? I mean, why go gluten free? A Harvard researcher agrees and also points out gluten free foods, high prices don't necessarily mean they're more nutritious. People want to, you know, spend more money on healthy food. That's one of the reasons. The second is there's more processing procedure behind the um, production of gluten free food. And Zong says when gluten is cut out completely, your risk of chronic disease rises. If you avoid gluten, you may lose part of the nutrient from if, uh, uh, from whole grains and whole grains have shown to be very beneficial for your health such as type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease and cancer. The bottom line is if you don't have a medical reason to avoid gluten we don't think you should. So listen to the experts be smart not trendy. Cutting out junk food and processed food is always smart and eat more whole grains. The whole grains specifically are the most beneficial and consuming three servings a day is ideal. And that's key there because the junk food doesn't have any nutritional value, whether it's no. gluten free or not. Right, exactly. So they might label it as that to try and get you to buy more sure. of it, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for you. Well, I tell you, they are making a killing off everybody <laughs> yes, going are. 